best record. Hi everyone, it's Annika again and today is a very special video because this video is highly requested by a lot of you guys. So I've been getting a lot of messages on Instagram and comments here on YouTube to talk about the experience of studying in BBC or like what programs they offer and all of that. I feel like a lot of people are interested in going to BBC but they really just want to know what is it really like to study in BBC. So this is just going to be a talking video, not so much on the campus tour yet. Basically, I just finished my midterms week actually i still have one more midterm to go but it's been crazy so i am currently taking up a business administration diploma program here at bbc it's a two-year course and i'm majoring in digital marketing so with my program specifically everyone has to take up a term where it's just like general business administration and on our second term which is the winter term for me we'll be able to declare our major so mine will be digital marketing and for the next year that's when we take all of our major courses for our chosen major so right now i've just been taking general subjects so for my first term now i'm taking up accounting marketing management business communication and microeconomics so it's honestly quite heavy so a lot of people have been asking me what's the recommended load to take per term right so when I started, I didn't know. I was just following a course list that was like recommending us to take five subjects a term, right? So that's what that's what I did and that's what I took. But honestly, it's quite heavy. Like per subject, they really have a lot of requirements. So right now, all of my midterms are happening all together and it's crazy because like these are proctored exams, right? If it's not in class, these are proctored online and there's so much there's so much stuff to study. So for example, my microeconomics midterm is from chapters 1 to 10. Honestly, that's very fast because my professor is actually very fast. Versus other classes, their, their midterm only covers chapters 1 to 6. But it's just crazy. So you have papers, you have your quizzes, you have your weekly assignments, you have your weekly readings. Because even your weekly readings, they keep track of. So it's honestly heavy and on our first week one of the professors actually told us if you plan on working part-time and being a full-time student with five courses this semester you won't be able to make it honestly and we were just like nah you're you're lying but now after like two months in this semester I honestly think she's right. It's hard to focus on studies when you also have work when you also need a social life yet you have like piles of homework here and it's actually very fast-paced because it's post-grad so of course they feel like you already have like an idea of what these subjects are so these professors just go very very fast however what i do like about bbc is the professors are very accommodating and they're very understanding so the the classes have a very diverse demographic so there are a bunch of filipinos with me but we also have people from nazareth we have people from colombia we have people from brazil we have a lot of people from india also um, all over the world we have someone from Hong Kong someone from Korea it's crazy so it's very diverse and a lot of people have you know not not everyone speaks English very well also but professors are very accommodating and if you have any questions whether you keep asking the same question again and again they're very fine with it and they will they are polite enough to answer your questions and they give a lot of resources also for students to keep studying so that's the thing I love about BBC is there's so many resources available to you for the class and also like they also offer peer tutoring which is free there are a lot of activities for school so right now all my classes are online but next semester I'm going to have like half of my classes in class so I'm very excited for that and the campus is actually really good too there are a lot of study areas there are a lot of plugs for for your computers there's Wi-Fi everywhere and the Wi-Fi is also very very fast and it's just it's so far it's been a good experience but that's just my thing like it's hard to study and work at the same time if you plan on taking five subjects. So next term, I'm still gonna take five subjects, unfortunately, but I'm still gonna gauge, you know, how heavy it is because they give you two weeks to drop the classes anyway. So that's my plan. And what else can I talk about BBC? There's so many extracurricular activities. So recently I just signed up for this study group thing that helps with some research paper and they gave me like a $10 gift certificate from Tim Hortons and this also adds to my extracurricular points. They actually give you points for extracurricular so if you join more things then they give you points for that. I think it's gonna count with a PGWP or upon graduation, I don't know. But I'm just doing it because I'm just, I just 
want to join <laughs> extracurricular stuff and uh, yeah oh a lot of people have been asking me also is it a good school compared to for example state so personally i chose bbc because i liked their digital marketing program like the classes that they offered under digital marketing were classes that i needed it was a good mix and balance of business classes but also you know the digital side of digital marketing so it's the coding the um designing that stuff i don't really get to experience at work i don't really have a foundation for those courses because i didn't take that up in college so i think it's it's a good mix of everything that i need and that's why bbc's program is very attractive to me but honestly if i were to go back and compare it to say it say it actually has a very beautiful campus um bbc has like three buildings but it's in downtown the location is actually not that great well when you get off the train you're literally at bbc already but personally what i don't like about the campus is there are a lot of people that roam around the area and it's sometimes it can be quite unsafe especially at night so that's what i don't like about it but during the day there are police officers everywhere it's very safe so that's fine however if you compare it to state state has its own station and it's a huge campus it's a beautiful campus they have a beautiful location and i feel like just with the big campus that they have um there are more opportunities educationally i guess you know like the whole college experience is there versus bbc where it's just like three buildings so yeah I'm, I'm used to a big school my university for undergrad was a big school i had like a ton of people around me all the time so that's what i'm used to versus bbc where it's quite smaller well bbc also has a lot of student programs so under the student affairs office they give free napkins tampons and pads to women it's just there for, for you free to get um, they also offer like a lot of assistance if you have any questions there's an app under SABBC where you can just like post your question there someone's gonna answer you there are weekly newsletters of different activities they have a lot of mental health support also which I personally signed up for um, what else people are amazing people are it, it's it's a wonderful place so would I recommend going to BBC definitely yes like it's it's good you'll get your money's worth um, but honestly like when you weigh thing when you weigh schools down you just really have to look at what's more important to you are the courses more important to you is the school more important location what is it because personally for me it was the classes so that's really why i chose bbc because they had the best digital marketing program compared to the other schools that i looked at so yeah i hope this was helpful and if you have any questions like leave them down below i literally answer every single comment on all of my videos so thank you so much for reaching out thank you so much for all your questions i'm more than happy to help and if you like this video please don't forget to like it down below and please subscribe to my channel thank you guys so much i'll see you in my next video bye